Aries, welcome to your love reading July 1st to the 11th for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Hey, newbies and oldies. So for my newbies, I always go into a meditative session that I do before I start recording, go into the pre-shuffle that I always that I also do before I start recording, and then I get into the actual reading, okay? Uh, keep in mind, pre-shuffle doesn't always apply to the main reading because I do get a lot of extra messages in the pre-shuffle that, again, only pertain to maybe a couple people, some small groups. Just roll with it. Whatever resonates, hold on to it. Whatever doesn't, it ain't for you. It's for someone else, okay? Aries, oh my God, getting into your energy. <laughs> they gave me stuff real quick. So the first thing they actually showed me was our solar system, which I was really into. I was really loving that. Specifically though, they it, they started me on like the, like, oh God, how do I describe this? Okay, like, you know what satellite images look like, especially when they're coming around a, like a planet or some kind of, you know, entity that has its own orbit, right? A planet <laughs> or moon, whatever. Anyway, and as like, a, as the satellite image comes up, it's almost like a horizon view of that planet. That's what they showed me for Mars, okay? <laughs> so I was like, all right. Aries, just go and balls to the wall with whatever's going on here. Um, really, really in your energy. Keep in mind, Mars is in Leo, which is just more and more fire for you. Okay, watch the ego, watch the confidence. I'm just saying that because everyone's going to be a little extra cocky during this time, not just fire signs. Um, but that is going to be at play. And then I heard doomsday. I was like, uh-oh, but it actually felt really positive, Aries. It felt really positive. Whatever this is, I feel like it's something that you're bringing in to the people around you, to your situation, to your environment, um, and it, this definitely goes beyond love, guys. This is a love reading, but as I always say, every reading is essentially a love reading because of the spectrum of love emotions, right, or the emotions that apply to love. So it can be work, family, friends, roommates, all that, all of that can be encompassed in a love reading. Anyway, so this doomsday energy, like I said, it's something that you're bringing in, but it feels very beneficial to you. And then I actually saw like um, a school board, like very old school chalkboard, um, not super old school. It's like they were using that even in like the 80s. But anyway, I feel like you're actually schooling people um, in the art of being you, in the art of being Aries, in the art of just in your skill set and who you are. And it's like, as far as career is concerned, for those who are engaging in that energy, it's like you're basically showing people up. You're basically showing people how to do shit. People have, I think for a while, Aries, not that you've been, not that you've been passive, but you have known your skill set, but it's almost like you kind of knew it was going to fall on deaf ears. And for some reason now you're schooling people, you're bringing in doomsday energy to the environment and you're really showing people up. You're showing people what you're what you're really capable of, which is really awesome and it's really paying off and it's really making you feel very, very empowered, okay? I'm loving that energy. Um, let's see if there's anything else here. I did get another message, but it was so quick and I was trying to get the cards out to start recording. Now it's gotten to the point, guys, where it's like messages are coming in so fast that I can't get the, rec the camera started fast enough. There was something else, though. Damn it. Mm. Well, if it's really important, it'll come back, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's get into your pre-shuffle, Aries. We've got... The Six of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Aries, uh, Energy, not Scorpio Aries. Maybe you are a Scorpio. Maybe you got Scorpio in your chart. Anyway, Six of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy could also be um, Soulmate, Karmic, Past Life Energy. Ten of Cups in Reverse, Piscean Energy. Magician, Mercurial Energy. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine Masculine Energy, Manifestation. Yeah, you're manifesting yourself away from this. Okay, Ten of Cups in Reverse, Six of Cups in Reverse. That's a lot of unhappiness. That's a lot of um, dwelling on unhappy memories, how things haven't worked out for you, um, how you don't have as much happiness in your life or wish or not wish fulfillment, excuse me. I keep saying that on accident. Emotional fulfillment as you would like, but you're you're ready to manifest a big change in that arena, which is why I think this doomsday energy is coming in. Whatever has been causing this energy for you. Oh, please come in. There we go. All this, you know not quite happy, not quite content, a little, you know, upset about the way people have treated you in the past emotionally, you're you're manifesting something different. You're manifesting quite the opposite into your life because you're demanding it. You're not really putting up with anything else. You're you're only going to accept emotional fulfillment, which is basically like to summarize the eclipse energy, that's what this eclipse energy, this first one anyway, is all about. Now we have a king of pentacles. Taurian energy could also be earth and air with the queen of swords, which is interesting to me. Libra energy could also be air and water. And then we've got a king of swords over here in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be um, Gemini or Libra. You could, 
Aries, I actually feel like this is your energy. Definitely feel like this is your energy, which is really interesting to me because usually when two court cards come out, to me that says Gemini. Maybe you got Gemini in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with the Gemini. I'm just saying, usually always happens when there's a Gemini involved. <laughs> Doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying I would not be surprised, especially because we do have both the air court cards here. But Aries, this is definitely your energy. You're harnessing a Queen of Swords with a King of Pentacles energy. Your inner masculine is probably more likely in Taurian energy, while your inner feminine is more in Libra-like energy, okay? We all have masculine and feminine energy. As a reader, this has just been happening to me personally a lot. Um, and I think it's to really hit the point home that we all have inner masculine and feminine, especially those who um, have a divine masculine or divine feminine journey situation kind of going on. You have that inside of you. It's important to be cognizant of that because that kind of journey is about you not us you not us right but you've been dealing with a king of swords in a verse their masculine does match your feminine you can be divine counterparts definitely but it doesn't have to apply to just you to just to that group it can apply to to pretty much anyone that this is resonating with but this person is a little uh, they're not exactly in the greatest headspace, okay? Um, definitely someone who is a little manipulative. You know, it's interesting because they come off as very mature, but inside they're throwing a fit. <laughs> they're throwing like a five-year-old fit inside, but they're coming off as very mature, very stoic, very put together, very cool as a cucumber, but they're not. They're not. They're actually losing it is actually what I'm getting, Aries. This could be definitely be a boss of yours. This could be a boss, a lover, or a family member. If it is a family member, they're definitely older than you. They're definitely older than you, losing their shit, kind of freaking out. They're trying to strategize a way to control the situation, a, a way to manipulate the situation to work in their favor. But look at you, Aries. You know what you're doing. <laughs> you know what you're doing. You're in a Queen of Swords energy, which doesn't put up with shit. You have your sword. And it's funny because this King of Swords actually doesn't have one, does he? It's, it's sitting on a shelf like it's decor and yours is quite active, okay? <laughs> You know what you're doing, especially coupled with a King of Pentacles um, energy. You're standing very firm. You're in a lot of fixed energy, even though you are a cardinal sign. This is fixed with cardinal energy, very indicative of the first half of July as well. A lot of cardinal and fixed energy. You know what you want. You're not going to be swayed. You're not going to be swayed. You're actually going to be quite stubborn about it. But you're also going about it in a very smart way and a respectable way is what I'm getting too. Okay, Aries. Wow. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so as you guys know, this is a very general love reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret a tarot reading as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. Any messages for Aries regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Aries regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Aries regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. For those in relationships where you're schooling, <laughs> where you're schooling them in who you are and the art of being you. Oh, I just I just heard art of love and war. Anyway, the art of war. Um, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, you're basically just putting your foot down. They're just like, yeah, that bullshit, I'm not putting up with that anymore. Like ever again. <laughs> It's quite funny, actually. Um, you're kind of making people nervous. But again, it's that doomsday energy, right? It's like you're blowing shit up. You're blowing shit up because it has to be blown up for your own emotional fulfillment. Any messages for Aries regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Aries regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Okay. Any messages for Aries regarding love? You know, it's so funny, Aries, because you are harnessing a lot of Aryan energy, but it's like you're all over the place, though. Energetically, I can feel it. I'm feeling a lot of air. No water. <laughs> no water. Feeling a lot of air and some earth. But you're definitely harnessing that fire, too. You are very much in magician energy. It's like you're using all the tools in your toolbox. All of them. Any messages for Aries regarding love? July 1st to the 11th. Ha! <laughs> wow. Six of Pentacles and... No, six. Whoa, well, that's weird. Why did I say that? Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, if Six of Pentacles comes out, I would not be surprised. Um, more likely than not, the Seven of Pentacles might come out. Anyway, 
Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy with the Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. <laughs> it's like, I think you've been trying to get to this Ten of Cups by trying to deal with others, working with others. And again, you're realizing that's not going to get you there. Again, going for your emotional fulfillment, blowing shit up to do it, and realizing that you can't rely on others to help you get there. It's something that's within. Oh, wow, Aries, you're having a really profound week, okay? You're realizing emotional fulfillment comes from within and that it doesn't, you don't rely on other people to help you get there. Very profound. Any other messages for Aries? Ooh, whoa, whoa, okay. Five of Swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarian energy here, okay? Eek. So there's forgiveness coming in here. My guys are saying that's not the right word. Okay. Then what's the right word? <laughs> um, oh, surrender. Oh. Oh, surrender. Surrender. Um, Aries, you're trying. <laughs> this is funny. In your doomsday energy of blowing shit up, not relying on people, making it clear you're not relying on people for you. Oh my god, I just realized I like stretched that crow out. Uh, whatever. Um realizing that you can't rely on other people to get your emotional fulfillment in the midst of that people are surrendering to you people are surrendering to this idea because it is the right idea it's very valid right we can't rely on other people it is about it is about what goes on within us um and also you're just demanding you're demanding that people listen to your needs and what you need from them what you want from them in the workplace in your relationships in your family you're demanding it you're demanding that attention you're being very captivating right now and people are surrendering to you but aries i'm also getting that you actually are doing some surrendering yourself but i'm not quite sure in what at regard but let's see any messages for aries Oop. page of cups oh there's the apologies what did i say about surrender <laughs> I surrender, Aries. I surrender. White flag. <laughs> Sorry. I know I'm being a little extra this morning. I'm just feeling good because I finally got some rest, which is why I'm doing these videos a little later. I, I had to rest, guys. I had to. Any other messages for Aries regarding love? Hierophant. Wow. Taurian energy. Major lessons learned is what I'm getting off this card. Major lessons are being learned. Because you've done some, you've done, you've done the work, Aries. And like I said, you're coming to this realization about it's all from within. And if you want it, you got to go get it. You have to make it happen for yourself. You got to manifest it. You're learning that. You're realizing that. But you're also teaching others in the process, which is really beautiful. I love it. Let's see what else we got. You're listening to your intuition as well. Very important. Always listen to your intuition. Any other messages for Aries regarding love july 1st to the 11th I've got a few cards that just came out here and the top is three of swords i know we'll get into it any messages for aries regarding love july 1st to the 11th all right let's see what we got here knight of swords in reverse gemini energy could also be air or fire with the moon piscean energy could also be cancerian for me as a reader that three of swords moon and libra energy a lot of moon energy here i'm not surprised again because the eclipses and then we end with judgment Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Love that we're ending on that card, by the way. That's a great card to end on. You got a lot of cards, Aries. Got a lot of cards. Overall energy, we have two of wands in reverse. Aries energy, you've made a decision. You are seeing things very clearly and you've made a choice. You're bringing in doomsday, okay? <laughs> You've scheduled the date for Doomsday, for D-Day, and you're bringing it in, okay? And like I said, you've realized that you can't rely on other people for your emotional fulfillment that comes from within. It's a hard lesson to learn, but you've learned it. You've learned it. And people are surrendering to you, Aries. People are surrendering to you. They are apologizing for not seeing your worth. Definitely for not seeing your worth. Um, hmm. Not respecting you in the way they definitely should have. Not giving you the respect you deserved, but Aries at the same time. And no shade, I'm just, this is just something I'm picking up on. I'm just a messenger, don't shoot. Um, you're, you also recognize you had a little hand in that, right? Because you didn't demand that respect. Which I'm kind of surprised. But again, it was like, because you knew it would just fall on deaf ears. So you're like, why try? Why try? No one's going to listen to me anyway. But so at the same time in doing that, you didn't demand that respect, but now you are. And now people are just captivated. They just like, oh my God, they just, 
they're amazed. And you're teaching people a lot in the process because you've learned and now you're passing on that lesson. Granted, in more of a doomsday-like energy, but in a very respectable, demanding, captivating, very fiery, very Aryan way. Now this. Drama and heartache, man. Aries, someone's hurting and you don't know about it. Someone's hurting and you have no idea. Like I said, this could also be vice versa, but I'm seeing a lot of drama that's art. And it feels like the drama's past energy. It doesn't feel like it's coming. Oh, okay. That's why it's here. This drama, whatever happened, is past. And again, Mercury retrograde and eclipse season always brings shit back from the past, right? This drama that already happened definitely left someone very hurt. And it might have hurt your feelings too, Aries, but you, you kept it pushing because you had to. You didn't have a choice. You had to. You had to keep it pushing. Um, it's coming back up with this season. And I feel like it's coming in the form of drama. So we're going to get into it. Don't worry. But we are ending with judgment, which is about coming together, which is about forgiveness. It is about balance, right? It is also about healing. So I think it's going to be leading to a great place. But that being said, let's get a little further into this. I'm not, I'm not going to clarify this energy because it feels very, very clear cut to me. Energetically speaking, I am curious about this, though. Let's look at this page of cups. Let's see. Let's see what people are saying. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about page of cups for Aries. You could be an Arian Tor Torian Cusper. Got a, you know, heavy Taurus in the pre-shuffle and in this reading. Tell me about the page of cups. For Aries regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the page of cups. I'm also getting that a lot of you, Aries, like, there's a lot of shit going on in your family. Like, people are not, people aren't listening, is what I'm getting. People, okay, people are doing a lot of talking and a, not a whole lot of listening. That just came in really strong for some of you in the home. Um, and I feel like it's more in the home, oh, please come back, as opposed to external family. Um, but it can be, like, extended family. It can definitely be extended family, but within the home, no one's listening. No one's listening. It's also making you frustrated, probably keep urging you closer to bring in this like doomsday energy of you got to fucking listen to me. Um, mm. Yeah, that's coming in strong. Anyway, let's get this page of cups. Tell me about page of cups for Aries. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. One more. Okay. Tell me about page of cups for Aries. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Not taking those, that's a lot. Tell me about Page of Cups for Aries. Okay. Ace of Wands in reverse. This is really interesting. Whoever or, okay, if there's one person coming towards you, whether it's a group of people, it's like they've run out of steam on something is what I'm getting. They've run out of steam. They've run out of steam. Ha! <laughs> My guys just said for their charade. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. Um, <laughs> Aries, they've just run out of steam. They can't keep up the facade. They can't keep up the charade anymore. This is really interesting. They can't keep up the game. They can't keep up the game. They're tired. They're tired and they're surrendering, Aries. They run out of energy and they're like, oh my God, look at Aries go. I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Very interesting. Wow. Two of Wands in reverse. Double confirmation. But this is a very different Two of Wands from the Steampunk deck to the Rider Waite deck. So Aries, your overall energy is you've made a very clear choice. You made a choice. It's already made. Coming in July, it's already made. Um, but in this deck, um, it's indecision. They've run out of steam for their, for their, for their charade. Charade? 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 How about you're supposed to say that? You know what I'm trying to say. They've run out of steam and they don't, it's almost like they they became so exhausted and like lost so, like such sight of what they were trying to do in the first place that now they're like, wait a minute, what was this, what was this all about? How did this start? Like, you know, like if you fight with somebody um, and let's say it goes on for a really long time and then you get to a point where you're like, wait a minute, why were we fighting? Why were we doing this again? Why was I mad at you? Why was I trying to do this? It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Let's see what else we got. 
Twenty-five page of cups, Aries. You're not gonna like that answer. Sorry, I just felt that you are not gonna like that. I think they might even admit it to you. Like, I don't even know why I was doing it, Aries. You're gonna be like, well, you better remember. <laughs> it's not gonna be a good enough answer for you. Twenty-five page of cups. For Aries regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Page of Cups. Oh, Aries. They're threatened by you. Tell me about Page of Cups. <laughs> you guys are cracking up today. I just heard some of you say to yourself, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> we have Strength in Reverse, Leo Energy, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, and then we have Ace of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. Why was I doing this to Aries? Why was I hating on Aries? Why was I, you know, making it hard on Aries? They're, they're going to claim they don't remember, but the truth of it is they're threatened by you. They're very insecure in the light of your independence, your strength, your stability, and it's inner stability that they admire about you. They really admire that. But at the same time, I don't think they admit it because it kind of threatens them. It just makes you make them feel insecure through no fault of your own, unless you're picking on this person, but I know you're not. I know you're not. They're just threatened by you. They're threatened by you and they know that you're very genuine. You're very genuine. You're very abundant. You're very confident. And they're very, it makes them insecure. Like just straight out, it makes them very insecure. And that's really the truth of it. But they're going to tell you, I don't even know why I was doing that Aries. I forgot. You know how it is, Aries. I just forgot why I was mad. Or why I was hating, or why I was doing this, or why I wasn't respecting you, or why I wasn't listening to you. Uh huh. Overall energy for the Page of Cups, we do have the Empress in reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. Aries, I do believe this is your energy. They know that they're on your bad side. They know. They know they're, that you're they're on your bad side. This also this person also has been lacking a lot of growth in their life. From whenever they started this charade, charade, however the hell you're supposed to say that, um, campaign. I just heard campaign. Interesting. Some of you, this person was talking a lot of shit, especially in the workplace or social network. And because of that, they haven't had any growth. You know, it's like they put out toxic energy, so it just came right back to them. Underneath that, look, we got a Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, legacy, legacy, wealth, family, home. Some of this is a family member, straight up. Some of this is a straight up family member. I don't know why I was doing that, Aries. <laughs> You're not having it. I can feel it. You're not having it. And again, some of you, this is business. And again, like I said, they're also very jealous of what you have and what you possess and your authenticity and your confidence. They're very envious of that. But you're teaching them lessons, which I love. You're teaching them lessons. Um, I'm also getting a little bit of divine guidance here. You've really humbled them. Well, actually, I'm going to retract that. You've, you've made them a little more humble. <laughs> They're not totally humbled, okay? Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on to this drama and the hidden hurt. The hidden hurt. Um, God, what is this drama about? The drama card is like screaming at me. Let's use the Gilded for the Knight of Swords in reverse. See what drama took place here. This person might have acted really cocky with you, Aries, and acted like, you know, it was really easy to like have this fight or have this issue between the two of you. But at the end of the day, they're really, really hurting and they're, they're not showing you that. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse. For Aries, regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse for Aries. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse. For Aries, regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. I'm getting a lot of nagging in the family. Hold on a second. Oh, this is irritating. It's actually like, I can feel your irritation. It's like, some of you are just rolling your eyes. <laughs> at the, at like hearing someone talk. This is only going to be for like a few of you. It's just something I'm picking up in a family dynamic. This feels like extended family, not just your immediate family unit. It's an extended family issue. There's at least one, maybe two people who are just very like pushy, overbearing with their energy, very domineering. They talk so much shit. Oh my God. Talk, 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 talk. They talk a lot of fucking shit. And you're just sick of hearing it. You're just like, how many times do I have to hear about this person? How many times do I have to hear about the situation? Some of you, this has been like 
the same nagging shit for years. It's almost like, can you find a new topic of drama to talk about? I think that's only for people who these family members just are addicted to drama and attention. Very narcissistic energy. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse. For Aries. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. They feel older though. Feel way older than you. Another generation. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse. Now we've got the Sun in reverse, Leo energy with the Fool. Uh-oh. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card. Yeah, it's about your light, Aries. Yeah, this, that's what this drama was all about. That's what started all this fucking drama. It's just your confidence and your light and your authenticity. It just disturbs people. <laughs> or at least this person or group of people. Some of you, like I said, this is a family issue. Others, it's just one person you're dealing with. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse, in love or career or otherwise. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse for Aries. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse for Aries. For some, if you're dealing with one person, they just, and again, I probably sound like a broken record, but they're telling me to talk about this again. They couldn't live up to, like, how did I say this? You shine so bright, Aries, that it's like they just felt like they could never be as bright. And to them, if they couldn't be as bright, then they couldn't be around you. Kind of sad. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse for Aries. Ooh. Four of Swords, Libra energy with the Three of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. So healing is taking place here. Recovery, rehab, might have even taken a little vacation disappointment i feel like it's more this person's energy you took a break too you definitely took a break too um but so did this person and more because they were hurting and more because you needed to just like recalibrate from this drama and this fighting overall energy we do have the knight of pentacles virgo energy could also be earth or fire here some growth is happening yeah yeah this was a lesson learned for this person whatever started this drama it was because they were insecure it's because they couldn't stand up to your light um they they just they were just kind of in awe and it just made them really insecure and you both took a break of some kind um whether it was a vacation or just a break from each other um for them it's because of the hurt for them and for you, you just you just had to recalibrate you had to recalibrate separate yourself from that energy and leading to the hidden emotions about the pain let's look at this three of swords let's look at it and then we'll look at judgment and then we'll wrap this up I know we're clarifying a lot for you guys. You guys got a lot of cards going on. I'm going to use Alice in Wonderland for the Three of Swords. I know that's not what it's called, but it's just easier for me to remember. I think it's called, oh, the box is right in front of me. Tarot in Wonderland is what it's called. Link is below if you want the deck. Tell me about Three of Swords for Aries regarding love. July, I just heard July 3rd. July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Three of Swords. Maybe that day is important to you. It is the day before 4th of July for anybody here in the States. Tell me about Three of Swords for Aries regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Three of Swords. Let's see what we got here. Star in reverse, Aquarian energy. Ooh. Aries, this person's depressed. I know I got that one little curl. It's making me crazy. This person's depressed. Uh, damn, they're draining my energy. Uh, they probably are struggling with a lot of fatigue. Oh, God. Yeah, see, five of cups. I didn't even see that. Scorpionic energy, more depression. You got two depression cards here. Lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. It's also my divine soul connection card. So whatever label you want to put on it. For me, soulmates, divine counterparts, twin flames. I'm trying to get away from the labels, people. But it's a very deep spiritual connection. It's not just a little you know, fun little fling, okay? It's a very, very deep soul soul bond. Devil in reverse Capricorn energy. Oh, man. Aries, this person is actually depressed over you. <sighs> Crap. It's making my it's making my heart sink. Um, you have no idea. This is very, very much hidden. You have no idea. They are a mess, Aries, and they feel like they acted really cocky with you, which is why you're like, what? I feel like some of you are like, there's no way they're depressed. No, they're depressed. They're just not showing it to you. It makes them feel even more insecure. But with this lovers in reverse and devil in reverse, I gotta be honest. Like when you, when this, whatever this was, 
um, became severed or you walked away or you just released it in whatever way you release it because you can release something energetically even if you don't cut the person out of your life you can release them energetically um, it did release some kind of serious codependence between the two of you I feel like it's more codependence they had on you I feel a little bit of a pedestal energy they might have looked up to you a little bit too much thought of you in kind of like a grand sort of sense of being grand sort of sense of being this person i think also does struggle from addictions which their depression is not exactly helping them but you released yourself from a very gripping bond a little control a little control because of that codependent energy that i'm feeling they had a hold on you aries or at least they thought they did <laughs> at least they thought they thought they did and you got away essentially let's see what else we got but they are depressed tell me about three of swords for aries Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Yep, there you are again. Tell me about Three of Swords. They look at you as family material too, like wifey hubby material, if they're not already married to you. Tell me about Three of Swords, but they do see you as one to share a home with. We have Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, so double confirmation. Again, your confidence, your abundance, your independence, um, your Aryan awesomeness. Let's see what else we have. Ace of Cups in reverse with the Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy, realizing a missed opportunity of love with you. Also realizing or at least thinking that you might have fallen fall out of love with them and, or if this is a romantic situation. But then we've got this Four of Wands, Aries energy. They still think that you are a very, you are a person they can have a very strong foundation with. They still feel that way. I can have a strong foundation with Aries. Aries can handle it. Aries is independent. They're a hard worker. They know how to get shit done. They're a great manifester. I still see them as being part of my legacy. But they also see you as someone who's probably falling out of love with them or who's happier without them. True or not. Overall energy for the Three of Swords, we do have Temperance in Reverse, Sagittarian energy, imbalance that imbalance energy. Like I was saying, it's like I picked up on a little bit of addiction here and definitely some depression. Oh. Please focus. And a little bit of depression. That's why temperance is in reverse around all this hurt. They're very depressed. They're very sad. They're very down and out, struggling with some addictions, but they are re trying to release a little bit of that um, because you released that hold that they tried to have over you. They still love you. They still have a lot of, they still look at you in a very like high sense of being, a little bit of being put, you're putting on a pedestal. They still see you as being a very strong foundation or someone they could have a strong foundation with, but also someone who's probably falling out of love with them. Now let's look at judgment. I know it's a lot going on, guys. Hang in there with me. Um, let's go with legacy. The legacy deck. Tell me about judgment. For Aries. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about judgment. For Aries, regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. Okay. Tell me about judgment. Let's see if you're going to be reconciling with this person. E! Five of Cups again. Double confirmation. Scorpionic energy. Like I said, it is depression. It's grief. Grieving what's been lost. Although this person's gripping to that Two of Cups. Like I said, they're still holding on to the idea of you. But they're very depressed about it. Tell me about judgment. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. They're not focused. They are not focused at all. I don't feel like they're being very productive at work either. I just heard self-employed. E, if they're self-employed, they're not working on their business. Tell me about judgment. Three of Wands, Aries energy. E, don't tell me this person's sitting waiting. Let's see what else comes out. I'm getting the sense that they're sitting and waiting, Aries, which is not exactly great energy for depression let's see what else we've got there's that king of pentacles we have taurian energy here earth energy could also be air with the four of pentacles in reverse capricorn energy this is more of your energy aries you are releasing yeah they see you as releasing them and releasing this connection page of wands in reverse bad news my bad news card yeah aries they see you as releasing them um, releasing this connection, releasing what was, and you're, see you just, they just see you keep, you know, keep progressing, keep moving forward, but they are coming in with an apology and they're going to brush it off. Like, I don't even remember who 
why we're fighting. Or I don't remember what happened. What happened? Truth is, they're just really insecure about insecure, and you make them feel insecure. But no, through no fault of your own, just through your own light. Tell me about judgment for Aries regarding love. July 1st to the 11th. You know, I got the feeling too, Aries, that they're making a lot of assumptions. I mean, a lot of this is like what they think, what they think you think, what they, you know, what they think you're doing, what they think you're feeling. It's like without even actually checking in with you, they're making a lot of assumptions, which is very dangerous, I have to say. Hangman, Piscean energy with two of pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Again, more stagnancy. They're in a very stagnant place. They are stuck in a major rut and these eclipses probably are not going to be having it. I would not be surprised if this person experiences a tower moment or two just for spirit to shake them up. And I don't mean that in a bad way. This person needs to be shaken up because they're kind of living in a world of chaos, but I feel like it's all mental. It's all in their head and it's making them paralyzed a little bit, a little bit like analysis paralysis. Um, but it is a spiritual pause, which I love because when they come out of this hangman position, um, they're going to have some growth. They're going to have some light bulb moments and that's going to help them move forward. But right now there's too much chaos in their head to deal. Overall energy for judgment. We do have the star in reverse, Aquarian energy. Ooh, underneath that, Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Even though it is your court card, it's not your energy. This is definitely their energy. In their depression, they're a little resentful. And like I said, a little jealous. They're kind of jealous of you, Aries. That's why they're insecure about your light. They wish they could emulate you. They wish they could be as authentic. They wish they could be as independent and stable, but they just can't. And that resentment and jealousy is sinking, making them sink more into their depression. Wow. Oh, okay. Aries, let's get some advice for you. <laughs> I feel like the advice is going to be more for this person, but let's see. Let's see. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Oh, geez, I just noticed the card underneath that. Look at that, the Ten of Cups, Piscean Energy. They're jealous that you are getting your, your emotional fulfillment without them, that you're getting your emotional fulfillment solo. They feel like they can never do that. But that's because they're, you know, they just have some healing to do. Right. I feel for this person. I actually do feel for this person. Um, I know some, oh God, some of you are like, why? Don't feel bad for them. Guys, people who respond to situations like this, it's because they're in pain. It's because they have healing to do. That's why I feel for people like this. I want this person to heal just so that they can, you know, get their own emotional fulfillment. Everyone deserves that. All right. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? 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 Oop. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, look, manifestation energy. Bring your ideas to life. 24 breaking down to a six. So harmony, harmony through foundations, harmony through foundations, through building your foundation, which Aries, you seem to be doing quite well, especially as far as your emotional foundation is concerned. And you already came out as a magician energy. You are manifesting some serious emotional fulfillment. Look at all that water. Look at all that water. All of a sudden I heard cancer. Um, it is cancer season. You could also be dealing with a cancer Aries, but either way, you're doing some heavy ass manifesting. Don't stop. Do not stop manifesting here, Aries. It's really going to pay off for you. It's already paying off for you, clearly, as the energy stands now. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Wow, a lot of water. I'm surprised. because Oh, no, actually, that does make sense. I, there's one card I can't see because it's face down, but another card is definitely a water element. Because remember, I was like, oh, you're not in water at all. <laughs> To fully manifest, you got to use all the tools, all the elements. Water is the last one you're not totally using. <laughs> Any advice for Aries? I understand, Aries. You're fire. It's a little uncomfortable. I get it. I'm water. It's uncomfortable for me to use fire energy. I'm just being, I'm being honest with you. Any advice for Aries? All right. So these, oh my God, another water card. Anyway, 
and another water card. Yeah, all these cards are water elements. Then we have Starfish Spirit, open to infinite possibilities, 59, breaking down to a five, change, right? Change and transformation. In your doomsday strategy, a blowing shit up, schooling people, telling people what's what, going after what you want, closing all of that shit out is making a lot of space open for you to go in any direction you really want to go. And that's what you're manifesting. You're manifesting options. You're manifesting not only emotional fulfillment for yourself, but the new and where you can go with that. With true happiness, you can go anywhere. Trust me. It's like when you find that like true happiness and like utter emotional fulfillment, it's like, oh my God, that's all I had to do. That's all I, oh, 1122. <laughs> Oh, that that's all I had to do and like all you're just gonna your your mind is just gonna expand when you're happy like that and fulfilled like that you can see so much farther and that's exactly what's gonna happen so don't stop Aries then we have swan spirit time for a deep dive another six by the way you got two sixes in this oh actually everyone's been getting synchronicities it's crazy okay well I'm gonna wait I'm, I'm jumping ahead I'm gonna wait anyway Time for a deep dive. This is very Piscean energy to me. This is one of my Piscean cards. This is going to the deep, deep depths of your emotional soul and your emotional being, okay? Although I also feel like this other person has to do this as well. Mm. For different reasons. Aries, you're doing it so that you can figure out what you're missing in your emotional fulfillment to get emotionally fulfilled. This other person needs to do it to heal, okay? They definitely need to do it to heal. It couldn't be clearer how much healing this person needs. All right. I feel for them. I really do. But that's your advice, Aries. That's your homework. I know it's uncomfortable, but it's going to pay off. If you want to be emotionally fulfilled, you got to figure out what is keeping you from that and what's in your life that is destroying that for you. Okay. Overall, Sandpiper Spirit, be playful. 51 breaking down to what? A six out of four cards. You have three sixes, and these are all water. Sandpiper could be arguably a little bit of um, earth too, but they like to play in water, okay? <laughs> they like to play in water because this is about having fun, having fun and not just, you know, not just going out and like doing fun actions, but emotionally being childlike and having fun again, you know? Learning how to play, relearning how to play. Aries, you guys know how to have fun, but you know, you've done, a, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot ever since 2019 started, even a little bit at the end of 2018. You've been through a fucking lot. I know you have. It's time to learn how to play again. It's time to learn how to have fun again. But you're going to do it through harnessing water. You're Like I said, you're already harnessing air, earth, and fire. It's time to harness some water to finish off your manifestations, okay? Woo, Aries. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was intense. And like I said, I really feel for this person. It seems like they're coming to a consensus that they've lost you. And I don't think they're wrong, but it's going to be different for everybody. But that's their consensus. That's where they're at. And you are just, you're, you're, you're going for your 10, regardless of what people say. And you're teaching people a lot in the process. All right. Which is awesome. So I wish you guys the best. Have a great week. Enjoy the eclipse tomorrow or tonight. Well, no, tomorrow, depending on when you see this on the second. Um, and I will see you guys later. Namaste.